In this video, I'm going to show you seven awesome text effects that you can use to give your videos that final touch. They're really easy to follow, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, we've got this random letter shuffle. Add a text plus layer to your timeline, then you need to adjust your text, the font, the size, and the color to the way that you want it. Now, if you right click over here in the text box and select text scramble, then click this icon here to go to the fusion page. Now over here on the right, select modifiers, and then you need to move your playhead to the point that you want your animation to stop. Next, put a keyframe against randomness. Now move your playhead back to the beginning of your clip and then change the randomness. Now when you hit play, you should have this random text shuffle effect. That's a 360. Okay, so add a text plus layer to your timeline. Now again, you need to adjust the text, the font, the color, and the size. Make this however you want it to look. Now move your playhead to the right by about one second. Now over here in the inspector, go to the transform tab and make sure that transform is set to characters. Then go down to rotation and you need to add a keyframe next to the Y rotation. Now move the playhead forward one second again, then change the Y rotation to 360. Now go to the settings tab and turn on motion blur. And then against the shutter angle, you need to change this to 360 as well. And then if you hit play, you should see each letter spin 360 degrees. Okay, so next up, we've got this curved text effect. So again, add a text plus layer to your timeline. Select it and go to the inspector tab. Now, once again, change the text, the font, the color and the size to the way that you want it. Then you need to go to the layout tab and change the type to circle. Now from here, you can play with the settings a little bit further. If you want the text to be more circular, then you can play with the whip setting to change this. Okay, so the next effect is putting text on a wall. This one looks really cool. So what you need to do is select your clip on your timeline, go to the fusion tab, and then select the media in one node. Now press shift plus spacebar, search for the planner tracker, and then click on add. Now draw a shape on the wall where you want your text to sit. Go over to the inspector tab and change the tracker to hybrid point slash area. Now press this button to track your clip forward. Next, you need to put your playhead back at the start and press this little T icon to add a text node. Now drag the square from the text plus node to the green arrow on the planner tracker node. Now you don't need the merge node, so you can delete this. Now select the planner tracker node again, and in the inspector tab, change the operation mode to corner pin. Now you need to move this shape to the same area that you put your text earlier. Now select the text node, and again, change the text, the font, the size, and the color to the way that you need it. Then hit play, and you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so next up, we've got this wavy text. So add your text plus layer to your timeline, select it, and go to the inspector tab. Change the text, the font, the size, and the color to the way that you need it. Now over on the left, go to effects, and then open FX and search for waviness. Now, if you can't see this effect, you need to go to the three little dots over here at the top, and then you need to tick show legacy resolve effects. Now you should be able to see the waviness effect. Now, once you can see it, you need to drag this onto your text plus layer, and then in the inspector tab, you can change the settings to your liking. You should have something that looks like this. Okay, so next we have this outline text animation. So again, you need to add a text plus layer to your timeline, select it and go to the inspector tab. Now change the font, the color and the size to your liking, but it helps if you pick a thick font. Once you've done that, go to the shading tab and disable this box. Then select element two and enable this. Now you can choose your color. I'm just gonna put mine back to white. Once you've done this, you need to duplicate your text plus layer to a new track above. Put your playhead at the start of both text plus layers select your bottom clip and in the inspector tab, select element one again and re-enable this box. Then go back to the text tab and you need to put a keyframe against right on and then decrease this all the way to zero. Finally, move your playhead to the point that you want your text to be complete and put the right on all the way back up. And then when you hit play, you should have something that looks like this. Now, if you want the outline to go faster, you just need to put your playhead at an earlier point in your clip. Okay, so finally, we've got this letter reveal animation. So add a text plus layer to your timeline. And again, adjust your text, the font, the color, and the size to your liking. Now hit this icon here to go to the Fusion page and right click over here in the text box and select Follower. Then go up here to Modifiers and change the order from Automatic to Random, but one by one. And then you wanna change the delay to around three or four, something like that. Now I'll go to the Shading tab, put a keyframe against the opacity and then turn this down to zero. Next, move your playhead to the point that you want the animation to stop and put the opacity back to one. And now when you hit play, your letters should slowly reveal themselves. And that's all seven effects done. Let me know down in the comments if you're gonna use any of these in your own work. While you're here, why not check out my other video where I go through seven really cool effects that you can do in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.